Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Hey guys, well, welcome back. Last episode, you saw my wife and kids and I getting the shelves moved into the store. And now today is a fun day where I have the glass shelves up on the wall now and I'm starting to get stock put up. This is where, even though we're still about a, a couple weeks from being able to open here, I can start planning where stuff is gonna go and start decorating and making it look fantastic. This is where the real fun begins for me. Well, I'm excited for this episode because it really is gonna start taking shape by the end of it. Follow along and see what happens when this building actually becomes a store. I'm working away inside the building today and I get a surprise from Mike here. Uh, Sick of moose. Sick of moose. Okay, and he's brought something special. Let's have a look at it. What did you bring in today, Mike? Uh, one of my uh, chainsaw carvings. You did that with a chainsaw? All by chainsaw. Holy cow. Except that for, is... Except for the sanding on the beak, obviously. Right, that would take a little bit more effort. And you brought this in today and I said, well, that's pretty cool. What are you asking for? And you told me... A gift to you. A gift to me. Now that's that is so surprising because I don't expect that, especially since you put so much effort into it. Um, but since you're refusing to take any money from me, we're going to leave this as a decoration. We'll put it in the new store, and we'll have it as sort of a little mascot over there, keeping watch over things. Oh, that's awesome. But you sell your art normally, though, right? I do usually, yes. Okay, and yeah. what's do you have a website or Facebook page? Uh, Facebook. I am the Rustic Carver. The Rustic Carver. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And hey, do you see? Have you? Met uh, Bigfoot while you're up there? <laughs> uh, I went looking, but never found him yet. That's but. pretty funny. Social distancing <laughs> champion. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, let's go inside and I'll let you have a look around. Awesome. And thank you so much. Thank you. Been busy working away, and Bill showed up to save the day. I feel like I'm rhyming. I'm not meaning to. Maybe it's <laughs> oh, the timing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but Bill has been here, and you've been helping to unpack stock and put it on the tables. And I've been taking it from the tables after he unpacks it and pricing it and started to put it on the shelves. Uh, but we are going to take a break for that because a lot of the stuff that needs to go here is still in active use on the other side of the store. And I still need to sell it. I can't have customers come over on this side yet because we still have to get our occupancy permit. I'm just getting set up so we can be ready to go when that time comes. So I'm switching gears now from putting stock out to hanging pictures. I have a whole bunch of pictures that I've been keeping stacked up in the other building because there's literally no room for pictures on that other side because our shelves go all the way up to the ceiling. Um, so this will be the space for, for pictures. I'm going to try and uh, get creative. I don't want to have it too cluttered in here. Just a few nice little displays, but there are some walls where there's space for a picture. And uh, I'm going to go around and just try and decorate now. It should be loads of fun. I have been waiting for a while to find a home for this Carl Apple uh, signed piece that I have. He, of course, was one of the founding members of the Cobra movement. It's modern art. I love it. I think it's so cool. Um, but I haven't had a space for it, but I think it's going to look great. It's just the right size to kind of sit right in that area there and be kind of a showpiece on the wall. Oh, now I just have to figure out how to hang it up. And it looks like this is the style that has two hanging points on the back. So I'll have to measure and get that guy in place. We'll see how it looks. I've switched gears. I've jumped over to take care of something on the truck that I wanted to do. If I'm going to drive this truck more regularly, I wanted to get a box cover for it. Now, this thing is a long box, which means it's kind of hard to find, especially for this year. Although they are still making long boxes now, it's not necessarily the same dimensions, but we found one kit available. The truck fitters here found a kit for me in British Columbia and they shipped it in. So when I get back in about a half hour, 45 minutes, they should have a cover on. In the meantime, I'm going to go grab a bite to eat and I'll head back over to the shop. Well, that was fast, but I got this tonneau cover installed because if I'm going to be out hauling antiques around and I want to put stuff in the back, I don't worry about stuff flying out of the back on the highway or getting rained on. 
So it gave me a little bit extra protection. And I didn't want to put a canopy on because if I want to haul something really big, well then I'd have a canopy that limits the height. So at least this gives me kind of the best of both worlds. Roll up tonneau like this should do the trick. It is late at night. You can barely see Steven up there. <laughs> and we just went to somebody's house this late and picked up a table and chairs to use inside the store. I feel a little bit bad. They just refinished them. That's what they said, right, Stephen? Yeah. Yeah, they said they just refinished them and uh, they asked if I was going to use it in our house. I said, nope, it's going to go to a store, but at least it's getting used. Yeah. Okay, uh, you want to grab the last chair down and then we'll grab the table. Thanks, kiddo. Big table is in place. A couple extra chairs. This is where we're going to put all the t-shirts all folded all nice and neat on there. I think that'll be a good display for that. This is a big table. I don't know what this is. Looks like there's, oh, that's for the uh, leaf to sit in. I'm trying to figure out what that was and I know exactly what it is. We've got a couple other display tables, this little round oak and another round oak table, which we're going to use for people to sit at. We don't really need a whole lot of sitting space in here just for when friends come by or somebody wants to grab a snack and have somewhere to sit down and eat it. How's it looking though, Stephen? It looks good. It's yeah. like a whole different store in here. I know. Your mom said today it's actually starting to look like a store. Yeah. And it is. I still have piles of stock that have to go out, but it is actually looking kind of like a, it doesn't look like a new building. Somebody came in today and they said, uh, oh, is this a building that you've restored? And I said, no. But I said, that's exactly what I was going for. Yeah, pretty cool. Everybody likes the shelves that uh, Jason and I brought back. And I've got uh, some stock on it and ready to go. I have a lot, long way to go because a lot of the stock is in use on the other side. So I can't really fill it up all the way. But did you see I got the glass shelves in? Yeah. Cleaned them all up today. And I did the lines consistently straight across. So it'd be nice, clean lines. I really want this side to feel very clean and sort of perfect. And uh, my little art wall that I was working on with Bill, the idea was that we would have like muffins or cookies or things like that in this display case and a little coffee counter there. That's still kind of the idea um, with the cold drinks and cheese and meat and stuff in that side. We just have to make it happen. I even found a space up top for our friendly neighborhood crow to hang out. Checking out what's going on at the top of the store. What a lovely gift that was. One little piece I've had sitting in the garage for a while is this base, this old industrial base for likely a, a shop table. Kind of 1920s-ish. I just thought it was super cool and industrial. I also had been keeping this chunk of raw wood. So we've taken the two, put them together and made this raw wood, you know, this big, clunky tabletop. It looks kind of cool, actually. I like it the way it is. But uh, I am going to put a little bit of tongue oil on the top just so it's a little bit more water resistant and that grain will pop. I'm going to grab my tongue oil, brush it on and see what it looks like. There we go. That brings the grain out a little bit. We'll let that dry and soak in. It'll be more of a matte finish, not a gloss, which is fine, but it will give some water resistance to that surface. I'm sure I'll be able to find a cool spot for it in the store, put some decorations on it. It'll end up looking great. But my two children have come by. So what do you guys think of it so far? It's really cool. Yeah, it already looks like a, a full on other store. It, it almost is. Yeah. Dad's just been busy getting it ready. So we're still waiting on a bunch of, we're not putting the food over here yet because I don't want to go bad. I'm not ordering that yet, but I am ordering a bunch of soda made in Manitoba called Pick a Pop, which is all these different flavors. You can put those in the cooler with the meat and the cheese. But Abigail, you think it's gonna look nice once it's all done? Yeah. And what do you think of the floor? I like it. Yeah, she likes it. There you go. The fans have it. My children have it. The floor is cool. Let's see kind of what this looks like so far. I'm gonna back it up. Bum, 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 bum. Well, there's lots of boxes and stuff out, but you guys get the general idea. It's starting to come together. It's always a good sign when your kids want to shop in your own store. They've actually told me that if this wasn't my store, they'd probably shop here anyway. Right guys? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the minor transformation that's been happening. 
We got a lot of the art up on the walls. Um, and Steven, I guess some of your art's gonna have to come in here too. Yeah. We'll get some of my son's art in here, but everything is really starting to take shape. So thanks very much for watching today's episode, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more, and we're gonna have another update once I get more of this all assembled and put together. So stay tuned, and as always, bye for now. Bye, guys. everyone I'm popping in to this portion of Alexander's vlog I just got home and I'm so relieved I just picked the kids up from school but HelloFresh came again and I want to show you guys what we're gonna eat today so I chose the carb smart basil pesto chicken mm, mm, that looks so good to me it has all the instructions of what you need to do to make this happen and I'm excited. All right, let's get cooking. I have to say I've been pretty excited that HelloFresh wanted to work with us on these little spots. And you know what? The extra food showing up at the house doesn't hurt either. We have lots of fun making these pre-portioned meals because, uh, well, sometimes you just don't have much time to get this done and it's less prep for Melissa or for myself and there's less wasted food. Plus there's leftovers for the kids lunch for school in the morning and that makes the next day easy as well. In fact, if you kind of want to get out of that rut of eating the same stuff. What's nice about HelloFresh is that they make over 50 different menu items and market items each week, including ready-to-eat salads, sandwiches, and soups. For me personally, this meal is fantastic because I've been avoiding carbs. This meal, as well as others that they offer, can be tailored fit for your needs. Whether it's vegetarian or low carb, there seems to be an option for just about everybody. Because it's fall, they actually change up their menu based on the season. So you can choose from an ever-growing rotation of weekly recipes featuring hearty soups, chilies, and in-season fall produce to take advantage of the season's fresh flavors. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CuriosityIncorporated14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. So check it out, try it for yourself. Melissa and I wouldn't be working with HelloFresh unless we really believed in this product. We had used it prior to being approached, and honestly, I kind of just want to eat this food already. It looks so darn good. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish watching Melissa make the food, and we're going to stick it in our bellies and eat it. <laughs>